Hey everyone, good evening guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to analyze SACSoft today. SACSoft is an IT company. Okay, and we are looking at the monthly chart of SACSoft. Now, just a quick disclaimer guys, uh, this video is for educational purpose only. So don't take this as a buy sell recommendation please uh, consult your financial advisor you know if you want to buy and sell shares so what do we have here if we see you know this stock got listed in 2005 it sort of pretty much did nothing for so many years then it broke out and uh, post that it it was sort of consolidating in this zone then it broke down again so what's interesting about this if you may ask right now so what we have here is essentially this was the level this was the level that the stock has broken out from in september last year and then again the stock was consolidating in this area and it gave another clean breakout so this was this is like a seven year old breakout you know 15 16 in 15 16 in 16 it has broken out in 20 so six year breakout so based upon my experience of so many years of trading i've noticed that you know five six seven eight years uh, you know resistance or uh, uh, breakouts are very potent especially if we are in a bull market they are very very potent so something to take note of from a technical point of view and uh, let's look at the weekly chart so weekly chart uh, you know it's a very typical uh, thing uh, that i love to see going up on higher volume and then falling on relatively lower volume going up on higher volume falling on lower volume so it's a it's a very good sign when this sort of setup happens then the stock started breaking out from here you know so i got interested when it started breaking out from this area but I did not buy over there basically I was uh, tracking this stock and then it suddenly went up so I have started buying in this area this is the area where I have uh, bought the stock you know now from the on the left side we have the moving averages this is the 50 moving 50 day moving average the blue line is a 200 day moving average both are trending upwards so that is a very good sign around here you know if you see here 50 day had gone sideways so now the 50 day has turned upwards so it's a very good sign uh, after breaking out from from this level the stock is consolidating again and if it comes down you know to this level or any any anywhere anywhere close to the 50 day i'll be looking to buy this stock so i will be adding on my positions key thing to look for is that again you know the correction is on lower volume whenever it goes down it goes down on lower volume you can excuse one or two days but mostly all the correction is happening on lower volume this is a daily chart and this white line on the volume is the 50 day average volume so we you know the we consider 50 to 60 days of average volume as a decent uh, uh, benchmark you know to to get what the volume is in a stock so so one or two days of anomaly is all right so that's from the technical point of view you know uh, just going to show you quickly what's happening it's broken out of this range this is the range it's a six year old six year old breakout very high potent move uh, is expected you know from this uh, stock from from let's understand a little about the company it's an IT service management company it was formed in 1999 and uh, if you see these are the type of uh, you know uh, digital solutions they offer intelligent automation managed analytics 
these are the verticals they cater to the logistics and transportation fintech healthcare retail telecommunication public sector these are the sectors that they cater to these are the services that they offer so software product engineering support services and so on, advisory and consulting so on and so forth so you can get more information over here if you would like to you know make a long term investment in this company now coming to the fundamentals very quickly it's a micro cap company 519 crores um and uh, there is a uh, 23% of uh, shares out in the market to trade no participation by FII and DII as of yet usually they don't invest in 500 200 crore market cap companies so something to take note of 70 crores of operating cash flow looks good balance sheet they have only 20 crores of loan and they have shaved off the loan that's a very good sign no dilution has happened in the equity another very good sign so you know they have around 90 crores of cash equivalents cash and cash equivalents on the balance sheet let's look at the profit and loss quickly so you see there is a good traction in the sales and so and the same can be seen in the profit as well we are looking at uh, 7 crores of uh, higher profits as compared to last year profits have doubled since 2018 sales have also gone up they have been able to maintain this profit margin of 17% and they've increased their profit margins over a period of time so companies which uh, run efficiently over a period of time tend to increase their profit margin so whenever you see that you know they slowly steadily the profit margin is increasing there is a steady growth in the sales steady growth in uh, in in profits this is a very good sign from a long term perspective as well now if you see the uh, the sales have compounded at 14% profits have compounded at 25% and the company has given a cagr return of 27% so these this is very good but then all these numbers are arbitrary so we just can't go on these numbers however it it is important where you got into the stock more than these numbers so let's not get carried away with those numbers as far as the march results go quarterly results they they were better you know sales were a little a tad bit higher profits were higher by 30% so these these numbers are very good uh, december also if you see december 20 to december 19 comparison sales and profit both were higher so very good numbers on a year on year basis and on a quarter on quarter basis as well quickly look at the pe the median pe is 10 stock is trading at a pe of 11 and uh, the max pe was uh, 23 you know 20 around 2023 and if you see these blue lines are the uh, is these blue bars are eps so if you see constant Lee, you know the company is doing great. The EPS is going higher. Profits are coming in. EPS is earnings per share. If you don't know, so so if the earnings growth keep coming in in this company, we can see we can see very big moves happening in this stock. And you know small cap stocks move very quickly. So for a five crore com five hundred crore company, you know the stock can move very up very quickly. The only the only negative i see here is that mm, no so 23% yeah so that's a good number i mean that's all right that's a good number of stock to be out, you know out with public trading so as of now this looks very good in my opinion and i'll be buying on pullbacks as well looks very good let's see how it plays out in the shorter term thanks a lot guys